In the last module, we captured values from the 2302 and wrote them to a text file. Now we're going to do something a little more interesting, and we're going to write those values to a Google Doc. And to do this, we're going to use the example already included in the Adafruit library. Now for the first step, I've gone into my Google Developers Console, and I created a new project called Temp and Humidity. And what I need to do is get some credentials that I can use so I can contact the Google Drive API and write to this document. And now I want to enable the Drive API. Now, as you can see by this message, it said this API is enabled, but you can't use it into your project until you create credentials. So we're going to create some credentials. In this screen, it says add credentials to your project. So we want to determine what kind of credentials we need, and I need Drive API credentials. Where will I be calling the API from? The easiest one here is Other UI, example Windows CLI tool. What data will I be accessing? Application data. And in this screen, I will create a service account, and what that will do is generate a JSON file that will have my client email and private key in it. Okay, now that I've created a service account, I will download this JSON file and put it on my Raspberry Pi in the folder with the application that I'm going to be writing. Now that I've got it copied over, I can start to work on the Google underscore spreadsheet dot py. And now I'm going to need to install a few things. I'm going to need to do an update, install Python pip, and then I'm going to install the gspread OAuth2 client library from Google. And so I do my update. And now that that's updated, I will install pip. And now that that's installed, I'm going to use pip to install the gspread library and the OAuth2 client library. And now that I have that installed, it's time to create the spreadsheet that I'm going to be writing to. Now in Google Docs, I've created a spreadsheet which I've creatively named temp and humidity. Now one thing we'll need to do is delete all the blank rows out of the file except for the first one, and I'll show you how to do that. Start by selecting row 2, hold down shift, and then do page down until you reach the very end of the document. And then scroll back up to the top. As you can see here, we have all but one row selected. And we want to delete rows 2 through 9999. That way we don't have a thousand empty rows in our data set as we start out. And now let's create a header row with some row names. And as you can see here, we have date and time, temperature, and humidity percentage. And now there's one more thing we need to do in this document before we start writing to it. Back on your Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to open up that JSON file that we're using for authentication and look for a client underscore email field. As we can see here, you have a client underscore email field, and what we'll want to do is take that email address and we're going to put it into the Google spreadsheet. Back in the spreadsheet, we want to go to File and then Share and paste in that email address. And now your spreadsheet is shared with that address. So we'll go back onto the Raspberry Pi now and edit that Python script that's going to run all this and put it all together. Now back on the Raspberry Pi, let's open up the Google underscore spreadsheet dot py. Now the first thing you'll want to look at in this file is dht underscore type. This is the type of sensor that you'll be using. We're going to be using the AM2302, so we'll need to change this. And now that that's changed, we'll also need to change the pin that the sensor's connected to. And as we scroll down, we have the OAuth JSON location, and that will be the location of your spreadsheet data JSON file that we downloaded earlier, and then the Google Docs spreadsheet name. And the only other setting in this file that you'll need to be concerned with is the frequency seconds. And this is how long to wait in seconds between measurements. We're going to leave it at 30 seconds for now. Let's go ahead and save and close our file and run it. I should note that on some machines you will need to roll back the OAuth2 client. To do that, you do pip install OAuth2 client equal equal 1.5.2. If you have any kind of authentication errors, this may be something you'll need to do on your Pi.
And now we're ready to run our Python script. Type in sudo python google underscore spreadsheet dot py and then enter. And as you can see here, it says logging sensor measurements to temp and humidity every 30 seconds. And it looks like we've already got a value written. And we'll give it another few seconds. Now let's speed it up a little bit. Now we've got our Google spreadsheet open and we're going to set it to run every 10 seconds this time. And now we can watch our spreadsheet as it's updated every 10 seconds with a temperature and humidity measurement. This is an amazing library and something that's really cool. Some of the more common methods for storing data with the Internet of Things are in a text file or a database on the Raspberry Pi or maybe an outside database um, or endpoint somewhere else. But in this case, you can store it on a spreadsheet on a Google Drive and you could have thousands of these if you wanted to. It's really a pretty neat little feature. In this module, we created a project on Google. We created an auth token and a spreadsheet. And then we installed some dependencies and modified a script to connect it all together. Now you've successfully taken measurements from a sensor and sent it to the internet and stored it in a Google spreadsheet. This is the very essence of the Internet of Things and we're just scratching the surface.